Okay loves, welcome back to Exotic T Blog. I'm back with another video before we get into this one. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so every single time I post to be notified. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I love you. Return to subscribers, y'all should keep doing shit for me. I see what you're doing. I love you too. Let's quickly dive into today's topic. We're gonna start off with the Queen of Rap, Nicki Minaj. Best selling tour tickets by a female rapper in history. Nicki Minaj's Pink Friday 2 number 1 and Nicki the Pink Print tour number 2, 500k and 400k. Nicki is still the highest selling ticket on a tour by a female rapper at number 1 and at number 2. So, congratulations to Nicki Minaj. Doja Cats is on tour, she's currently on tour and I don't think she has sold much ticket like Nicki Minaj and Megan Thee Stallion also is on tour, she, she's selling, she's selling I believe for $25 but I don't think she has sold more tickets like Nicki Minaj and Nicki is just breaking this record with only 45 shows, Nicki Minaj hasn't um gone through her whole show so nikki might as well be selling over 700 800 900 thousand tickets on this tour this is so good and this tour is successful so congratulations to the queen of rap she keeps doing her thing and the barbs keep doing their thing not only that i'm gonna be calling out ice pies aka mini minaj and her things out they was coming out here throwing shit at Nicki Minaj saying one nice thing I could say about Ice Spice is how she is generous to her elders. She really gave Nicki Minaj her last top 10 record on the Billboard Hop 100 charts in her whole career. So y'all should let me know how you feel about this down below. To me, I feel like the Ice Spice fans, Munchkins, whatever they do call them, y'all freaking dumb. If Ice Spice gave Nicki her last top 10 according to y'all, why haven't i spice charted fab but i don't think it's going to chart give me a life flops never saw the billboard hot 100 charts singular ish only charted because she was dissing i spice and i think she still got Nicki minaj fan support around those period so i don't know why y'all coming out to act delusional because if y'all claim i spice is that girl she should chart on her own let's see her charts and hopefully y2k doesn't do plastic cups on album charts hopefully because y'all be running your man on twitter y'all claim ice pies is that girl y'all should buy that album we just saw the money flopped so um ice spice is a newer artist and also a fresher artist y'all claim she can do over 50k let's see y'all go do that ish let me know if you about them being delusional down below in the comments not only that fans believe nikki was clowning rap girls when she said um she retweeted a fan saying the way she loves on us then clock us just to love on us again ha hashtag nikki minaj tribal and nikki minaj responded to this tweet so some of the cardi b fans was not sitting right with this tweet and to me i feel like most of the delusional gang always talking on Nicki minaj's page because how y'all commenting before um the barbs no shade so they felt like Nicki was clowning cardi b because cardi b has come out several times to call out her fans and also cuss them out so to me i don't feel like Nicki was doing that but they was coming out to say Nikki was clowning Cardi B and Doja Cat because they always going back and forth with your fans. They always um, calling their fans name and whatever and whatever. To me, I feel like y'all always want Nicki Minaj name to be attached to y'all silly ass drama. No shade. The delusional gang and the kiddings, y'all should take several seats, go outside and touch some grass. Stop being delusional, let Unika be because she is out here winning. No shade. Now, the industrial plastic bag, aka the face changing alien, is still out here being on Nicki Minaj's move. But oh my god, this girl doesn't have her own personality. So she popped out, um, dressing like the late princess Diana. And this is just like after two weeks of Nicki on stage talking about how she loves princess diana and how her and princess diana were friends oh my god cardi b steadily staying on Nicki minaj's mood board is crazy she always living rent free on Nicki minaj's head because how you going to do every single thing Nicki minaj is doing how you going to talk about every single thing Nicki minaj is talking a few days ago you was out here talking about big difference and that's a Nicki Minaj song. So um, if y'all ain't believing about Nicki being on tour talking about Princess Diana, I'm gonna put a little clip for y'all to see. Wales, 
me, um, a dear friend of mine, the, well, she's not here anymore, but the Princess of Wales. So it's clear to see that the industrial plastic bag doesn't have her own personality and this ain't shocking this is not the first time she's doing it most of her fans was coming out and say oh she probably dressed like that because she was trying to cover up her pregnancy or something like that but at the end of the day you're only doing it because Nicki Minaj talked about Princess Diana if Nicki didn't talk about Princess Diana on stage Cardi B would never have dressed like that and no shit she been doing that shit for a long of time copying Nicki Minaj, doing every single thing Nicki Minaj want to do, taking um, Nicki Minaj's style. So it ain't new. I'm not seeing this as a new thing. And if you are an Exotian, you would know that this hoe has been copying Nicki Minaj for the longest of time. But let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment. Not only that, JT spoke out about her and Young Miami going back and forth on Twitter on a recent interview with Kiki Palmer. So she spoke good, but y'all should get a listen to what Jadavia had to say about the situation. Went through, for a minute, I thought it was like a little publicity stunt, but what was going through your mind when you and uh, Miami was going back and forth and people was trying to pick it up and then y'all immediately closed it out within literally like 30 minutes or less? Like, were you gagged um, or were you like, I don't care? From which side? Like, from which from my side? Just or gagged that it was a public thing. Like, gagged that, okay, we really online, go, me and my girl really online going back and forth. I mean, it's not that unusual. Y'all are just popular. Um, no, I wasn't gagged. I know that we was gonna, it was going to end up there. It was going to end up somewhere. But I wasn't gagged. I wasn't gagged. And um, I was more like, more so hurt than gagged. I would say that. Like, I did not hmm. want that to happen. But it's just, it's just like when you get to the point of ego and it's like, it gets there. You know, you forget yeah. to express yourself in a private setting or you forget to talk how, like adults because it's both of us getting this attitude of who so what was going through you think you are you know and then yeah. it's just and it's just like it it happened and it, it's it was stupid and it, it's, it's it's done it's over yeah. with and, it, and, and now it's funny to both of us <laughs> you guys now it's it. so y'all should let me know if you feel about this down below in the comment and i think jt had um good response to that question but at the end of the day we know the city girls don't want to be the city girls they both want to have personal in their own career but that's my opinion lastly fans are coming out to say that sexy red and glorilla are currently the eight girls in rap so let me know if you feel about that down below in the comments me i look if you like it's only sexy red no shade to glorilla i don't really get into her songs and i don't think she be making songs for the general public she just making songs for gym men and some dudes Glorilla. Um, sexy red making songs for everybody everybody loving her song be i love you you're my everything everybody loving her song so i think it's just sexy red no shade to glow but that's my opinion make sure you like comment share subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll talk to you on the next video and as usual thanks for watching